Hey guys, this is Aaron Obelis 98 and here is a Mix Master from Transformers Revenge of the Fallen. Um, just to point this out, just like on Rampage's video, this Mix Master is a non-combining version. Just, just, like, just like the regular Warrior toy, he just has um, three modes. And I'll make a separate combining uh, Mix Master that forms Devastator's head later. That just goes from truck to robot, just like the Supreme Class toy. So I started this guy back at winter break, you saw the little sneak peek I gave you. And I did finish him yesterday actually. Um, yeah, he took most of spring break for me. I know last year I made three Transformers during spring break, but now it's just this guy. Which makes sense, he's, he's pretty complicated. And speaking of complexity, he's my first official triple changer. Um, the not counting Megatron and Soundwave from Revenge of the Fallen, because those like third modes don't really count. And yeah, um, Mixmaster, Revenge of the Fallen Mixmaster, he's one of my favorite Transformers designs in general. I think I did pretty good with this guy, considering that his design led to one of the most complex official Transformers toys out there. So here is a Mixmaster in his uh, Mac Granite Cement Mixer truck mode. And yeah, this is one of my better alt modes, definitely. I love how everything just comes together. There are a few inaccuracies, but overall it just looks very nice. Um, to start, um, yeah, his colors are a bit drab, like he is in the movie. I try to break things up by making this. This is actually supposed to be dark gray, but it's actually, I used black because I didn't have the right parts. And I think it looks good to break up the color, and yeah, he's also supposed to have like hazard, uh, hazard like stripes here, which I couldn't fit in. But I think it looks good. Um, yeah, he's not like a brightly colored like yellow or red or green like construction vehicle. So yeah. Well, it's just a lot of details all around. The mixing drum doesn't move, obviously, for obvious reasons. And then coming to the back, you can see all the cement mixing, like, stuff. You got a little ladder, a spare tire, and this little, like, chute. That, like, the cement will come out from here, and, like, you can use this to direct where you want to pour. And, yeah, there's a few inaccuracies. I know there should be another tire here, which, if I added that, that would cause problems in robot mode. And it probably wouldn't fit. And in addition, um, there should be actually another black stripe down the middle, but due to how, like, I, I can't move the gray over here, or else it would, like, mess up, like, the stability. So I decided to leave the stripe out, because if I did put it, it would look too thin. And to the front, I love how this is shaped. You got a nice, uh, cabin and the front grille. And also a nice, uh, this is also his hood ornament, which is a dog with a Decepticon symbol as a head, which is cool. And yeah, no, I didn't. I can put a Decepticon symbol here. Oh, I could with stickers, but I don't really want to use those. No, he holds together nice. Just don't hold him by his drum. And best of all, he rolls very well. All six wheels, which is a nice touch. And I forgot to show the bottom. Um, yeah, the side's a bit messy back here. And then you flip it to the bottom. Yeah, you know what this part is. And yeah, there's not much too, too much uh, recognizable stuff like in the front here, but. And for comparison, we have um, Revenge of Fallen Ravage, which is a bit oversized. And then we have an ordinary Lego construction worker. Then we have Last Night Crosshairs for car comparison. Not bad. Uh, symmetrics aren't, cement trucks aren't too big, I don't think. And then finally we have a uh, Rampage. Revenge of Fallen Rampage. And he's pretty big as a bulldozer compared to Mixmaster, but... They look good together. And we also have his uh, Voyager toy, which is uh, it's pretty nice. Uh, not one of my favorite figures, but yeah, I know they also have this weird like tan color they use, which is understandable, because if they just went with uh, dark gray, it, it would look pretty drab, even though it's accurate to the movie. Finally, we have another Mixmaster. This is uh, Mixmaster from the Supreme Devastator. He just needs to form the head, but he's huge. He's a big boy compared to him. Alright, let's get to his uh, transformation. His transformation is pretty complicated, as you would expect, like the Voyager toy. And, yeah, um, it's definitely, I, I don't have a definite, like, most complex LEGO Transformer, but it's definitely up there with my movie Optimus. And, um, getting him back from robot into a truck is, like, like, so much harder than getting him from truck to robot, which is unlike the toy, which I find the transformation to be pretty equal both ways. Which is why I don't think I'll be doing an instruction video because that is really frustrating to do. To, go to start, I think I'll start with the front actually. It's easier. You take the mirrors and just fold them in. And 
you can fold the grill up. First you gotta come to the bottom and then you take the wheels here. They're pretty tight, you just rotate them inwards. So they sit inside his thigh. The front section will become his legs like the toy. And alright. Then you take these side flaps, you pull them back a little bit so the smoke stacks can go in. Fold them in like this. And then you fold them like this. You rotate this up. And you can see his legs are just curled up in there. These do a good job of hiding them. And now you gotta just split the legs as far as they can go. Rotate these up. And this whole block of kibble will pass through his legs and just kind of flop down for now. I think I'll deal with the legs now, actually. They're pretty simple. Um, the front uh, grill will fold up and the section will fold down. They kind of meet. They'll form the lower leg. And you take this, fold it up. That's his kneecap. And then his little toes, you kind of just fold them out like this. And there's one leg. Not too bad. And other leg here, that, and you fold this up, you free the toes up, fold this, and then the kneecap, and you got this little blob hanging off the back, and those are the legs, that's the easy part. And now, okay, oh, just like the Voyager toy, this holds the arm, this whole length inside here is the entire torso, I don't have to collapse, but... First of all, okay, actually first of all we take the tipper here, or shoot, you fold this up, and then grabbing it here, you fold this out, this is his cannon of course, you fold this up, and then to transform the cannon itself, you fold these down, and fold this down, it'll form that nice triangular barrel, and I'll fold that up for now, and then coming under here, pull this out, this is actually his head, and then you gotta take these, these are actually two of his fingers, they fold back in, and now, okay, this is gonna be pretty messy, let's see, alright, okay, you get, okay, you bring these down, you come here, you fold this up, part of the cement mixer shell, drum, whatever, and then you, um, let's see how I'm going to do this. Okay, I'm going to split the whole drum in half first. It, it splits, it breaks into four sections, like the toy, and what I see from the CGI model. We just split it in half a little bit. I'll show you how that tabs in later. And then moving the head, you come under here. This black section actually tabs right into the main body. You have to untab that. Okay. And this is pretty much what holds most of the truck boat together. These two tabs. Come on, like that. But now that you freed them, you'll see things start to come apart. Oh, not actually come apart, but... And then you get into the truck have the mixer halves, you fold these out. Just a little bit. It should take the wheels with them, because they end up on his arms. click, 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 you get that to 90 degrees and you can see they start to flop because all the hinges in here and the cool thing is how these two halves tab together you got a anti-stud anti here and a stud here I reversed the bracket so they hold together very sturdily sturdily, whatever okay, um, it's starting to flop a little bit you take the head, you pull it up oh boy, okay Okay, coming back here, I think I'm going to pull the arms down now, like this. Pull these out, just for now. As you can see, the shell halves are breaking apart more now. And you fold these sections up, I'll deal with them later. Alright, so this section of the, the back of the uh, truck mode holds the whole arm section together and okay, fold the cannon down the tipper here will go back it, it's like a kind of like a double hinge system like this oh I just broke it oh, why 
like this. And a little side thing I need to do is take these uh, canisters here, the gas tanks. You shift them and then you rotate them 180 till they go past the head, like over the head. Like that. And the same for this side. You have to shift them down. And these will meet in the middle. And the cable fell off, whatever. It's surprisingly pretty stable. There's a few parts that just could pop off if there's too much like force on them. Alright, now you'll see the whole torso come together. It's a bit messy, but as you can see in the droid arm, this whole section will kind of, this part will fold in, this part will fold on top of that. It's cool. And once that is secure, okay. I'm gonna wiggle this down. And then now, as you saw when the arm split, there's this little like stud in the middle here. That will actually tab right into the back of the head. And you give that a nice push to line it up first. Like that. There you go. Yeah, finally. That will keep the whole body in place. And now we can get to the little things. First you fold up the chest piece. Fold these in. Fold these in. Then rotate the arms. You gotta take the drum halves, quarters, and rotate them like that. This section, the little panel we've pulled out, will fold in like this. that. Oh, okay, I'll do it to the other side too. Rotate this around. And then you fold this little section in. Come on. That. And then, I think I'll deal with the backpack first, actually. This actually tabs in pretty nicely. Um, okay, this whole front, you can see the ornament here, will tab, these two corners will tab right into the back of the truck. It's kind of weird, because um, they're in like complete opposite sides of the, in truck mode. And this, they will just tab together. Like that. You fold up the sides. And then you bring the cannon down. I think it, yeah, it goes down like this. Just gonna sit there for now. That's his backpack. And now his arms are the hardest part, but before that, we just need to get to the head area. You fold these sections past the head. These will just sit and they will meet together to form this little, like, I don't know what this is, but this is a gas tank in robot mode. Kind of collapse together. And then his head, you rotate this it's on this, um, hinge it'll be useful much later if you know what I mean and then you rotate the chest pieces and then the arms they were the first thing I figured out and they're really fiddly I would say first of all you gotta take out the little hands fold the fingers down rotate this and then you rotate all this around and then as you can see the wheels on the wrong side of the arm and this, oh boy, okay. You rotate this around. You gotta bend it at the... There's two elbow joints here. Kind of elbow joints. This is like the main one that you should bend it at. You fold this. You gotta clear the shell. Okay, you can just rotate that back actually. It's easier. And then you rotate this section in. Like that. And then... Uh, this section will rotate back again on this hinge. This will collapse again. Collapse. And it just sit flush with this bottom shell. Straighten the arm. And once you have that down, you can fold the elbow as far as you can go and keep things in place. Come on, kibble. Stay in place. Then you fold this shell back. And that's one arm, and then the other arm, come on, we're almost there. This should be the last thing we do. Okay, rotate this, 
Fold this back. And the fingers, of course. Two little fingers. Go do that. Okay. And you just gotta pull this all apart. Just lots and lots of hinges. You rotate this down at that elbow. Okay. Alright, you swing this in. Rotate this inwards. You guys should pull this up, and then on this part we just sit right there. And then you move this elbow right as far as it can go. I think this elbow should stay locked, mostly for transformation. And yeah, he's pretty much done. You just need to pose him. It takes a little bit of effort. He holds together well. You just set him down on the ground. You make sure his legs are even. The toes will kind of adjust themselves. And here is a mix master in his robot mode. <laughs> I had to pose him a little bit. He has a lot of joints. Yeah, a 10 minute long transformation. Um, I'm surprised not too much fell off. The back kibble is like the only main thing, but he holds together well. Um, he stands pretty well on his little feet. He's a little hard to turn around, but it's getting a nice 360. Yeah, you can see all his key features are there. Um, it's definitely one of my favorite Transformers designs, period. And you can see the back here, you got this big junk and uh, kibble. It tabs you together well, it's just not good to look at. That's better than having like a distinct like truck, the front of your, the truck as your butt, just like the Voyager toy did. The back on this, and the stink on the CGI model, all this is like, there's nothing here, I think. Coming up on his face, it's pretty nice, it's pretty simple, he has this little like oblate, like, like oval like shaped head. It's kind of cool, he has little, like ears, which is interesting. And then you got his little chest, a little, these panels, and... Yeah, coming to the legs, his little toes. These are actually inaccurate to what they are in the CGI model. Like, on the model, he has, like, three, like, pronged toes. He has a pretty big feet. Uh, but the toy actually has um, feet similar to this, which is with, in order to fit inside the cab for vehicle mode, which is why I chose with, to stick with these two toes. Not, I don't think too many people would notice. Not, like, people, like, stare at Mix Master's feet all the time when they're watching the movie. And that's it. And uh, of course I have the two gas tanks that come together at the top, which the toy didn't do for some reason. I think it's a kneecaps. The wheels are inside his legs. and There's a little chunk of cable, but it's not bad. Okay, um, in terms of articulation, um, okay, head's on this extra hinge and it can turn left and right. You'll figure out what, find out what the hinge is later. The drum shells, they can move around a lot. Um, I think like on the CGI, they're like actually like extra double hinges. They could like fold out completely, but this is the best I could do. It's another joint here. There's a lot of joints here. Um, this is this should be like the main like bicep swivel joint because this elbow I don't want to use that because it actually kind of holds this together or like it's like it's just set in position. Um, you rotate these fingers. You gotta move them around this section here. And same for the other side. Just like love how the shells came out on him. And as added bonus, um, the shells actually do more than just sit there. Sometimes they can actually move around like in the movie. Um, they rotate on this hinge. So you can make it more like a defensive position like that. And then you can fold this up. And then the wheel will just kind of sit back here. Like that. Then from that you have him in more of like a defensive position, like all the shields are like kind of like lined up. This was like fold up together and like, yeah, it looks like he's kind of like scheming right now. I got his two hands together. It's, yeah, there you go. And getting him back into his like standard configuration for size comparison, we got his fellow Constructicon Rampage. They look well together, they're about the same height as the minifigure. And we got Scalpel, and then we have Ravage, and finally we have uh, Megatron. Yes, his height's pretty fair. Oh wow, Megatron's pretty tall, yeah. Yeah, and there you go. Um, yeah, he's well scaled. Uh, well, I guess you could do his resurrection scene. You could land the bed, Constructicons, and you got like Scalpel, and then Ravage. You're like, kills the little one.
That's nice. I, I might need more Constructicons for this. And of course, um, toy comparisons. We have his Voyager toy, transformed. And yeah, this thing is pretty fiddly, but it, it's a pretty good toy. Um, the colors are a bit odd, but yeah, definitely buy this guy instead of asking me for instructions for my mix master because this thing is definitely going to hold up much better and is easier to transform into truck mode. And finally we have Head Devastator. And yeah, that should be it for this video. Oh wait, it's more. Um, yeah, he is a triple changer, so normally the video would stop here, but I have to get him to as a cannon mode, which is actually a pretty cool mode, even though he just does a handstand. And it's a pretty useful third mode. And yeah, transformation to that third cannon mode isn't that bad. First of all, you got on this extra joint, you fold this up. And then, of course, you saw the little cannon sticking out the back. You just fold, you kind of just extend that as far up as you can go, fold it over, and it will kind of sit on top of the canopy right here, these little gas tanks. And the legs, they kind of just flop up every time he fires his cannon, which is kind of funny. They just kind of just stick up, so they just fold up right here. Leave the back kibble alone. You can fold the toes up to make it more dramatic. And then, yeah, the bulk of the transformation takes place in the arms, which is a kind of a tricky one. Okay, you rotate the shield up like this. Getting him into cannon mode is perfectly fine. Just uh, standing him up is the problem. Fold these up. You rotate this, because you got all these ball joints here, and it's kind of tricky. You gotta fold this. Alright. Then you transform his arms, like, partially into vehicle mode, I would say. You rotate this back. You rotate this. Okay, you make the arm as straight as possible, because I know if you don't have him straight, things are going to get messed up. You rotate this section on this joint here. Gotta fold this section up, like this, like in vehicle mode, kind of. And this panel kind of fold over the arms. And then coming over here, oh, you're supposed to rotate that to the side. And then you rotate the arm stuck inside here, like this. Bring that down, bring all this like kind of like together. And then you fold the fingers up, and that's one arm. Yeah, for the sake of time, I just transformed the other arm. It takes a while. And now uh, the moment of truth. Yeah, this is... Oh, man, this is... I hate this part. I'm <laughs> trying to stand him up. He does that handstand in the movie, and the toy can't even stand on his own hands. Yeah, funny thing, I never got the toy to turn into that cannon mode, but... There, finally. Yeah, so there he is in his uh, cannon mode. Oh, jeez. Uh, last time I took pictures of him, it took me a good, like, ten minutes of getting him to stand and I'm glad he holds up now and yeah I got the cool triple cannon his head just sticks up there it's pretty much him doing like a handstand in the movie it was that but in order to get him to actually stand in real life I had to kind of take all these sections kind of put them together to form this nice base you see his little legs flop up the kibble shouldn't be there but you know, whatever and you got the nice shields here in the actual, I think, in the movie, um, the arms would actually move forward a bit, but since its center of, like, gravity is, like, kind of back here, realistically, it had to move this back. Well, that's a nice cannon. <laughs> I really like this third mode. Alright, uh, that's it for this video. Uh, it's been pretty long. Not only does he have a 10-minute transformation, he also has a third mode, so... Yeah, that's it. I'm glad for everyone who stuck along. I know it's... Uh, really long video, but Mick Master turned out amazing. He's, he's definitely one of my favorites and one of my favorite Transformers designs of all time. And yeah, that should be it for this video. This is the only Transformer I can make during spring break, but he's pretty complicated, so that makes up for that. And yeah, by the time we see my next trans Lego Transformer, it would be like during the summer, like around May, like uh, when Infinity War comes out. And um, yeah. I'm not sure what I'm doing next. I have a lot of work in progress is right now, but I'm going to try to make something big happen this summer. And uh, hopefully I can go to Brick Fair this year. Um, I'm not sure what's going to happen, but that should be it. I'm glad you, you guys stuck around in uh, this is a really long video. And I'll see you guys the next time. And of course, I'll be doing another Mixed Master for Devastator's Head. And of course, I'll try to make all the Constructicons. I'm not sure who I'm going to make next, but I'm leaning towards Hightower.
But until then, I'll see you guys.